Hi, I'm Jeff, a product specialist here at Red Court Software, and I would like to show you how easy it is to install Virtual Time Clock Network Edition on a Macintosh computer. Remember, the Network Edition allows you to access the time clock from multiple computer workstations. The first thing you're going to do is launch your web browser and head to www.redcourt.com. Once you arrive at the home page, you'll want to click on Download Virtual Time Clock Network. Here you'll be presented with three download options. The first is the Virtual Time Clock Server. The server will be installed on one computer on the network and is the brain of the network time clock system. The second choice is the Virtual Time Clock Pro Client. This allows you to use the time clock for clocking in and out and perform time clock administrative functions. The third download option is the User Client, which is used strictly as a time clock for punching in and out. We're going to start with the time clock server. Go ahead and locate and double click the downloaded file and go through the installer accepting the defaults. You will need to enter the administrative password for the computer. Next, you'll be prompted to create your company and add a time clock administrative user. It's not necessary to add a password hint, although it is recommended. After creating your company, the status panel should show all server functions with green check marks. Now we're going to install the Virtual Time Clock Pro Client. We're going to head back to the website, www.redcourt.com, download Virtual Time Clock Network, and this time we're going to download the Pro Client. Remember, the Pro Client has administrative access and the User Client does not. Once again, locate and double-click the file you downloaded and go through the installer. The Pro Client will open to the Welcome window where you can click Connect to Server. Your virtual time clock server should be located in the upper part of the window, and you will need to enter the administrative password you just created. Then click Login. Next, you'll be prompted to add your users. You can also import your users from a QuickBooks file or from a CSV file. We're just going to add the users manually. All that's required to start using the time clock is a first and a last name. The other information can be added later. Next we're going to look at some common configuration options. First we're going to look at overtime. The time clock comes with three default overtime rules. Daily and weekly, daily only, and weekly only. Since I'm in a state that requires overtime to be paid after 40 hours in a work week, I'm going to choose weekly only and assign my users. Next we're going to look at activities. If you need to track time spent on different tasks, jobs, or projects when clocking in, then you'll want to set up different activities. That doesn't apply to my business, so I'm just going to keep the default activity called in. Next, we're going to look at what program rules we want to use for our time clock, including what interface employees we'll use to clock in and out. We can choose from the in and out board, an alphanumeric passcode, a numeric PIN, or even an individual user status window that's used when time clocks get deployed as a personal time clock on each workstation. We're going to keep ours as the in and out board. You can also set what time clock features users have access to. 
You can assign managers to the group and set what features managers have access to. Next, we want to set up our payroll period. We're going to click on payroll settings and set our payroll frequency or how often our employees get paid. My employees get paid weekly, so I'm going to leave this as it is. Finally, we want to set how total hours are calculated and displayed on time cards. So we want to go down to time settings. We can set when our work week begins and also set our rounding rules. Finally, you will want to set up a daily backup of your time clock data. You'll need to launch the server manager and click backup on the toolbar to do this. Let's close time clock configuration, which will leave us in the Pro Client Administration window. This is where we can edit and delete time card entries. We can add a manual entry, for example, if somebody forgets to clock in. We can add a leave entry for a vacation or sick day. We can run reports. We can export the time clock data to a spreadsheet that can then be opened in Excel. We can process time cards for payroll. You can open your mailbox or you can return to all of the configuration settings. We don't want to leave the time clock open to the administration window, otherwise employees will be able to edit their own time cards. We can exit administration mode by clicking on the pop-up and choosing user mode. You can return the administration window by going to the file menu at any time. Now let's clock Grace in. She simply selects her name from the list, creates her password, and chooses an action like starting her day. The in and out board is updated with her current status. Congratulations, Virtual Time Clock Network Edition is now set up and ready to use. If you would like more information about Virtual Time Clock, please visit our website at www.redcourt.com.